What's going on fams or what's going on YouTube? Alright, so um I got basically a request. Somebody wanted me to do a video of me doing double clutch. I'ma tell you from now. <laughs> I don't think I've been, um even double clutch in about two years, honestly. All I did, well, all I do, my clutch is right there. Hang on, let me get away because I'm just now leaving the um the staging pad. Um, yesterday I did about eight loads, and when I say eight loads, I only go 23 miles to the shipper and 23 miles back here to the staging pad. So that's about what six. Two and two, four. That's 46 miles right there. And I just do that every single time. It would take me about. This guy got his, his hopper open. I don't even think it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, let me try to. Alright, see that? That's when you know you fucking up. So he got one. When he's gonna try to. um. When he's gonna try to load up his tank um, with air, it, it's not gonna load up. Um, that's not not my problem or business to, to let him know he's fucking up. <laughs> to let say, hey man, um, you got one hopper up there um, closed. I think it was one of that that same guy too that parked right here in the goddamn lease road, and I tell him, hey man, um, y'all need to move out the way. I believe he's Spanish. Need to move out the way, man, because I'm um, not gonna risk my truck passing right there in that ditch, and I get stuck. And you come out and start laughing at me. Now I gotta either get, um, get pulled out or y'all call a tow truck and come pull my ass out. And for a tow truck to come out here, you gonna be, you basically gonna um, just for them to, just for you to call them up. It's probably like five hundred or a thousand dollars just for them to, to say, yeah, yeah, we'll come out, and then a hundred, a hundred dollars a mile, or, or maybe it's a dollar per mile, or however they get charged. Hey, what's up, man? Or maybe um, however they they, they um, they decide to want to um, charge them. So it's a money making business, but um, not that I, not that I want to talk to you guys about. It was about a double clutch. So, let me stop right here. All I'm basically gonna do is just, hang on, let me set my brake. <sighs> Cause I don't double clutch, period. I am double clutch in two years. So, there we go. I, I float my gears. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't double clutch, so. Y'all say hello to, to Ted over there. You believe that Teddy Bear got about two years experience. I it's this two of them I have. Um, my friend got one, and then I bought another one and put this one right in the seat. So this one got two years of goddamn experience just sitting there. All right, so neutral, left to right, neutral, so it's not hitting anything. So I always start off in second gear, so it's just straight up, easy as that. Just nothing too hard to it. Ease up off the clutch and the truck roll. It can catch up the speed and then let's give it a little boost over this hill. Alright, so just a little boost over the hill and I definitely don't double clutch. So just accelerate a little, ease off it, boom, that's the next gear. You didn't hear it grind or nothing. Let me all right so now it's still below five miles an hour so now we're gonna go over to fourth gear because we just went down to third so all i do is up and over boom now i gotta say i don't i don't um use my clutch and sink in the clutch and all that stuff and now simply stop neutral left to right second gear over to my all the way to my leg and down is first gear, so let's go with that. So, ease off the clutch. First gear. Up and straight up. Second. 
You didn't hear it grind or nothing. The truck is still rolling straight down. Third, up and over. Now I went back into second there, so it's going up a hill. Boom, give it a little gas. It's gonna hold it because it's going up the hill. So it's just going up this little hill right here. See all these trucks just parked up over there. I'm gonna just go find me a spot too because I got about another three hours then I'll have my hours all back. Reason being, um, I've been driving on the same 15 hour window since past three days now. Cause literally all I do is just go 23 miles there and 23 miles back. And then I freeze my clock on well wait time. So now we're over the hill. We should be in third, up and over, fourth. That's it. And I just do the same, down, fifth, split her up, over, six, up again, seven, straight down, eight, up and over, nine, straight down, 10. I never hit no double clutch. Sorry, I hate to break the bad news to you. But um, that's basically it. But I'm gonna park up right here beside these guys. I don't see no spot right there. Yesterday, a guy, basically his tank um, was leaking diesel fuel. He had about a 150 gallon tank in the Kenworth. So, um, gonna show you guys um, what he did, well, what we did, and um, just did a quick bypass on that. I'm gonna try to straighten up right here. Plus I need to leave those guys some room to get out. Only time I hit my clutch is either when I'm coming, to, well, when I'm at a full stop and um, I just gotta put in my natural gear to whatever um, the speed limit is or whatever. But I also can upshift and downshift without hitting my brakes. I just use my, my engine brakes, slow down, and then just tap the gas just a little bit and pop it out of gear and then probably rev the engine a little bit, pop it back in the other one. Easy as that. So. All right, let me show you guys. Ugh. When you're all out here working in the oil field, you haul in a pneumatic trailer. Oh, big baby is still working nice and fine. Never had no more problems, but I'm um, out here working. Gonna run into some situations like this. So, ugh, let's open the hatch. So, I had to put some, some duct tape on there. Be mine, yesterday I took off this entire pipe and changed the gasket in here, but um, it still had a hole inside, inside the pipeline. So like on here, because the sand eat through right here, you can tell I haven't used this one in a while. Because the, the sand blows through, it eats through the metal and it has a small hole. So that, that air is seeping through and just coming through a pocket. So uh, best way to fix that is just get a new bottom line. Um, I put the new rubber seal on there that basically somewhat helped. But here's the old one. As you can see, it ate it off right there. You could just keep going around and um, keep reusing it, but I save it just in case because you can see the two parts right down here where my chin is and the other part up here where it basically eat, it, eat through it. Um, when I'm blowing off my air, I basically blow it up right there. Right there before it hits that halfway line. And my my um line, this is my tank pressure. So my tank pressure will be right there. And my air line will just be jumping from 10 and right here and moving. So if it's clogged, you'll start seeing this start going around 15. If it hits 15, you gotta hit that red line to really to blow blow off blow it. Blah, blah, blah bit tired here so it's basically like it would have it right here don't touch it it's hot so you just blow it down by opening this up 
and the air just come out through this little piece right meow, right there. It's easy as that. Um, to put air in the tank, all I do, leave this open, tell me the air is going up in there. So if it's pointing down, some trailers are different, but it's basic, basic, just simple. If it's facing down, that means the air is flowing down. When you turn it like this, I mean you cut the air off so the air stops there and you gotta put the air somewhere. If you don't put the air somewhere, you're basically gonna mess up your blower. So by opening this up, this is supposed to be closed. By opening this up, down, you're telling the, 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 the line to push the air through here and go up and inside the hoppers. It's easy as that. If you wanna release the air out the tank, just that just release the air you hear have a, a, a large blowdown this is just to move on your aerators in which it's these down here it's a little vibration of the tank and that's about it uh, I had to put some double D 40 just to loosen the, um, down there up I took out the bolts not really tired, honestly. I mean, you get plenty of sleep out here. Got all kinds of time for yourself. And it's just same as this one. The the um the rubber the rubber seal it just eats it away. So all I keep doing is just turn and turn it. But I, I got to take it to the shop, and they're just gonna basically just replace this bottom line and give me another one. That's about it. So, somebody got me for one of my holes as well. And I guarantee you, it's one of these damn drivers. So what I start doing to mark my stuff, I just spray this green spray just like I do the steps and up there. So at nighttime, it actually can see it. Um, that's basically it. So somebody got me for my, my 20 foot hose, which is kind of fucked up. But oh well. Reason why is because I didn't, I didn't spray them at that, at that point to mark it to know that that's mine. Because if I did, then seriously, if I would have seen my hose, I'd be like, "Hey man, where get that hose from? I need my hose." That's basically it. I'm gonna make some breakfast, and I got like a, like another three four hours of sleep. These guys probably just um just shut down because they've been sitting on the well. And the reason why I kind of ran out of hours is because for some reason it went into on duty and my phone notified me that I only got one hour left on my 15 hour clock. So by that one hour left on my 15 hour clock, I, I froze it again in well wait time and when i double checked i just edited it and put it to off duty and it's it was um about five and a half hours so um all i'm gonna do is just sit here for another three four hours while i get some sleep it's daylight now as you guys can see the sun is coming out so um about four hours i'll just sleep for four hours and then up again call dispatcher and let him know i need another load um total loads that i've done Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one that I'm about to scan off, mix number nine. So, this is nine already, and I did five yesterday and eight the other day, so coming Saturday I'm gonna get a pretty high check so I'll probably look at another eight nine thousand dollar check but hey being in the oil field you can't make eight thousand dollars only doing less than a thousand miles that's some bull yeah 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 I know but what can I say um, I don't know what to tell you but peace